Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to quickly cover the new Entra Suite. As from what I saw there was a little bit of confusion about what it is and what's included. So I wanted to just cover that right here. Now most of us are used to the Entra ID P1 and P2. So I can think about from a SKU perspective, obviously there's the free with some base capabilities. And then I think about the P1 SKU and the P2 SKU. This starts to introduce the enterprise type technologies. I could think about for P1, obviously I get the ability for more flexible MFA. I get conditional access, which I can then use to drive MFA. And there's a number of other features. And then for the P2, it starts to add things like identity protection. And one of the great things about that is it has its own native capabilities, but it can also then feed into conditional access based around the user or the sign-in risk. There's things like privilege identity management for that just-in-time elevation of permissions for Azure resources, for Entra ID, even for group memberships. And there's some basic access review type capabilities as well. And then as needs continued, new types of identity protection is required, new types of processes for an organization, new types of facilitating communications to private resources, to internet-based resources, additional capabilities were added. And this led to separate licenses you could purchase. So for example, there's an Entra ID governance. And the governance builds on the capabilities to add things like lifecycle workflows for that onboarding, that offboarding, more advanced entitlement management, more advanced access reviews. I can add my own uh, custom actions with logic apps for those entitlement managements. For the access reviews, there's machine learning. So it builds on those lifecycle capabilities. And then if I think about sort of decentralized identity and that verified ID, there were premium offerings like FaceCheck. FaceCheck enables me to compare a photograph on some verified credential to a real-time picture of the person. It has a liveness check to make sure it's actually that that person is there. And you can even combine that with things like the more advanced entitlement management. And then we got into some of the newer features around private access. So private access enabled me to make available on private networks anything that's TCP or UDP through a connection to the Entra Secure Service Edge from a global secure access client on the machine. I could apply conditional access to that. It was constantly validating the person and the health, again, through that conditional access. So that would give me access to non-internet-based resources. And then also there was internet access which, as the name suggests, helps protect the users when they're using those internet-based resources. Again, I get a tunnel to that secure service edge of Entra. I can then use conditional access. I can define categories of applications. I can use fully qualified domain names, but it's all about adding protection to the user. And for all of these, these were available as separate licenses. So I could go and pick and say, okay, yeah, I, I wanna do the governance or I want the face check or hey, the private access and the internet. And we can see that if we jump over to the web. So if we actually go and look at the Entra page, we see the basic Entra P1 and the P2s, but we can also look at standalone. So we can see the internet access, the private access, the governance, and then the premium verified ID. So I could buy them all separately. But then what you'll notice is this new one, this Microsoft Entra Suite. And this really follows the pattern of what we saw, for example, with the Intune Suite. And working out, well, as an organization, you're probably gonna want all of these capabilities together. If I think of the complete protection and lifecycle for a user, well, hey, I, I want certain capabilities just in time elevation, the identity protection for the risk, feeding into conditional access and MFA. I want the onboarding and the offboarding capabilities to send them an email before they join, give them the instructions, maybe add them to certain groups, make sure they're offboarded, entitlement management to go and add them to different groups or give them access to different SharePoint sites. 
based on what department they're in. Hey, I want to maybe leverage those verified IDs and the face check as part of an entitlement management check. And then I want to provide access to non-internet based resources and the internet in a secure manner. So I would probably want all of those things as an organization. And so fundamentally, if I want more than one of these things, it makes sense to do the entry suite. Now, when I think about the entry suite, the prerequisite for this is I must have P1. So this is a prereq. I have to license the users for Entra ID P1. And then what the Entra suite includes is all of that. So I get all of the capabilities of P2. So I get the identity protection, I get the privileged identity management, I get the access reviews, the basic entitlement management. But then the more advanced versions of the access reviews with the machine learning capabilities, the custom logic apps with the in, um, entitlement management, the integration and the use of the face check for that liveness and the validation of the user, and all the private access and the internet and access. And that's going to work out cheaper if I need more than one of those things. And we can see all those capabilities again when we look at the page. So if we expand out what we're getting, and we're looking at this third column for the Entra suite, we can see that it, it focuses on the Entra ID protection because that's really kind of a big feature. But it is also including things like PIM and those basic access reviews, which we'll see as we go through. On the governance, so it's including, yes, all the P2 governance features, but then also these advanced things uh, such as those entitlement management custom extensions, such as that integration with verified ID, the lifecycle workflows, um, PIM, the dashboard, all of the verified ID functionalities, the face check capabilities, and then all of the Entra internet access and all of the Entra private access. So it's all of those things as part of the Entra suite. And so that is a per user per month license. And again, they do need the P1 as well. Now, if you already have P2, obviously you have a, a number of those features there. And so you just work with the account teams. The account teams have various uh, discounts and licensing mechanisms they can help leverage to step up. So I'm not paying for kind of something I already own. But that's it. I mean, that's really the way to think about it. The Entra suite is just taking all of those different capabilities that in an enterprise I would likely want for the complete protection and management of my users. And it's an add-on. I just need that Entra ID P1 as that base SKU. And then I, I get everything else. That was it. I hope that cleared things up. Uh, until next video, take care.